Perfect health depends upon perfect circulation. A good circulation purifies the blood and secures health, while a poor circulation renders the blood impure and induces congestion of the vital organs. 24 LTMS, MS 109, 1909, par 17. Stand straight through the help of the wall. So it is really practice, okay? Practice. Okay, when you sit down, remember how you carry your body, huh? <laughs> Slump over like that. I want to mention this uh, very important issue. Before you get out of your bed, Mm -hmm. They are stretching exercises that you and I can do. Okay? So uh, I, I hope you will incorporate into your lifestyle. Of course, those of you boys, they are very young. Huh? You know, anytime, anyhow. You know, you will, you will have no problem. But as you grow older and older, if you are not careful building up how you carry your body, you are going to be like us. You know? You are not straight, ba? You are not balikok, you know? Like you know? <laughs> Ty kyphosis, lordosis, scoliosis, scoliosis, all of these things come in. Okay? Alright, so, when, when you get out, when, just before you get out of your bed, okay? Especially those of you who have tiredness of your neck. Now, as I said, you look at Pastor Kerry, ah, because he's, he spent a lot of time on the computer like that and working like that. You see his neck. If you look at my neck, do you see my ear on my shoulder? Actually, it must be straight. No. No. Yeah. It must be straight. Yeah. You see, the, the, my ear is not on my shoulder. It must not fall on my shoulder anymore. My, my neck is bent like that, so my ear is ahead of my shoulder. You look at that. Yeah, yeah, I had. Had. No, no, no matter how straight I stand, but if I put the back of my head to the wall, my you see my two ears will be like that. Oh. The two ears are tilted. It's not down like that. It's not standing straight. It's forward, man. So this is where we. <laughs> Master Gary is still younger than me, okay? But for me, it's already very significant, You can see that. So if I want to put my head to the wall, my ear is already tilted to the front. Slanting but, to but, the front. But will it uh, gradually... You know, yeah, that is why we gradually correct our posture. Now, correcting the posture depends also how we use the muscles. Okay, how we use the muscles to carry our body back. So, here, when we practice and practice, the muscles will become more and more relevant. And so, that is where we can correct ourselves a bit more and more. Especially, that's why I said that I see young people, they are the ones, who, you are the ones, right? Because you are young, you set out yourself. Okay, you can't blame anybody because you are the one carrying your own body. So do it right. Okay, that's the main thing, okay? So always check your back, right? To see of your tilt. To see how tilted is your back. Okay, like that. Right. So now, let's, let's start with it. See, I will demonstrate afterwards. When you are still on your bed, Okay, when you're still on your bed, what can you do to release the tension of your neck before you sit up and stand up? Because the moment you sit up and stand up, your neck, the cervical bones of your neck, has to carry the weight of your head. Yeah, this one, Abba, is more than one kilo, you know. <laughs> Maybe one of two kilos, practically. So, your cervical bones carry the weight of your head. Now, so when you are lying down, are your bones carrying the weight of your head? No. No. It's on the pillow. Okay? It's on the pillow. So that is the time if you have neck discomfort or erosion of the neck, 
Have you seen people, the doctors give them a uh, neck brace, brace uh, and they <laughs> and the head is above things like that. Why? Why? Neck. Because the alignment okay. of the neck. Okay. okay, I don't care what's wrong with the bones or what's wrong with the muscles, but it's neck pain. So if your muscles will complain, who is saying? You said. You said. You said. You said. You said. Yes, that's why you find that they do many exercises uh, besides biking. So that the bodies can be stronger. Now, so remember, huh? Your muscles at the back. What do you call these muscles? The abdominis muscle, right? So remember, this abdominis muscle is supposed to help your muscles at the back, so that you will not over depend on the muscles <laughs> at the back. Why? Because you have the abdominis muscle to support you. Okay. That's the word. You have a balance. So most of us, we have big abdomen, but not muscle. <laughs> fat, fat abdomen. It is fat, fat many times. Fat. <laughs> it's just fat stuff. <laughs> okay? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sometimes, that's why I, we joke, we said, you know, the first few years when a man got married, his wife got pregnant, but she delivered her baby, sir. But in a few years later, the husband become pregnant but never deliver. <laughs> <laughs> so the fight grows more and more. Eh? So the important thing is that we learn to develop these muscles, do a few stretching exercises, and develop these muscles so that when we bend to wash dishes, when we bend to do ironing, you know, when we do sewing or whatever it is, like, we have this abdominis muscle strong enough to push while this muscle at the back. Okay, because they don't support each other, you will not overwork, overuse your muscles at the back. Okay, so that your back pain is just stuck so long not a gamai lung you know this is not every day like that right yeah nowadays we see huh the laksa okay sometimes oh sometimes the laksa i thought we see all the treatment you give all the massage and all the treatment that you give her huh? good as they are but if the person does not know how to maintain it with those exercises and stretching exercises, they will surely go back to square one. Mm -hmm. It's only a matter of time. They will go back to square one. The pain, the ache and this disability will surely come back. So what we are doing for you, I mean, we give the treatment, it's what we call passive. Because I am the one doing for you. You are not the one doing. But what is very important is active. You must be active. Okay. If you if you are not active, you will go back to square one. Mm -hmm. That's why you find that those uh, chiropractors, uh, reflexiologists, and this tita tita man they call it in Malaysia. They will catch you paper like that. Ah, you feel so good. I'm Ayuna. <laughs> then you feel so good. But how long? Short. Or just How long? a short time. Short time. Maybe a month, two months, three months, maybe if you're lucky. You come back. Oh, the same problem? Yeah. They treat you. But important thing is we must, you and I are different, okay? We are not money making people. We need to teach them those exercises. Afterwards, I these few days I make sure you catch all of me. I, can I do it myself? Or can somebody do it? If what you can do it for yourself is very important, right? because if you don't do it, you go back to square one. You sure go back to square one. So uh, all the treatment that you give to people, tell them the exercise is this one. You can go against it. You can help yourself. But 
I hope you will not teach half of the knowledge, right? <laughs> but you need to teach the other half of the knowledge, the active part the person can do. Not only what you, what we are teaching you now, all the techniques is, you do it for the other person, may I say it is passive thing. Mm-hmm. Passive exercise. Thing. You, the person needs to do active exercise. Okay, mm-hmm. so that he can maintain. Okay, now I'm going to put myself down. As I said, the the exercises are so the the head exercises. You know for sure. By now it's this side. One, two, three. 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 One, one will finish the three sides, then you do that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Because with your pillow, sometimes you cannot uh, bend folk, uh, backwards, right? but you will face it like one, two, three, that's the challenge. One, two, three. So three sides of this one, right? After that you're finished, then you do. Right from this side, you swing all the way, right? And, uh, you do three rounds of this, right? Three. After you finish three, you rest for one. Then do another three, right? One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? You do three rounds. After that, you do another three rounds like that. Uh, straight up and down, right? Okay? You can do a little bit more. I mentioned to you a while ago, you do like that, a little bit more. Then you go mm. the other side, like that, a little bit more. Little, 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 little. A bit more. Eh? So you prepare your neck to, to support you. All right, three rounds, three rounds, okay? Three rounds, three rounds. As I said, once you sit up, you can do the neck, right? Now, before you sit up, I want, want you to... The, to take note of this side. This is very important. Right? You know this exercise, right? When you are standing up, when you are standing up, it is not as effective as when you are lying down when you stretch. Okay, you do that. Mm-hmm. This one, huh? You push up. Okay, you with the two hands, Only you push up all the way. When you push up, you have to use these muscles. Mm-hmm. These muscles will have to go down. And this muscles at the back has to come up. Mm. It will be like that. This down and this up. Okay, when you do like that, like push, stretch. But at the same time, your legs are you you do what we call a dorsal dorsiflexion of your foot. Like, up like that you hold it. When you push up, you stretch all that you can stretch, hold your breath, don't breathe. Like, just stretch. Mm. Uh, when you stretch yourself, you feel that you're stretching very tight and your legs are pushing down. See, uh, your legs push down and this part you push up. Mm. So what happened to your bones in between? They will stretch like that. Okay? They will stretch like that. So in that case, you relax your <coughs> spinal column, the whole thing, all the way up. So you can do it three. Oh, uh, uh, when you finish stretching, hold your breath. Just keep on stretching, guy. I said that these muscles go down and these muscles in the back come up. You will really feel it. Okay. So afterwards you can try. Uh. Now, when you are strong enough, you ready? You do like that. You see my hip? Can you see my hip? You see that? I rock my hip. Right? Left to right, right, uh, I mean left and right, right hip. Right? I can rock it. You, you look at my toes, right? they are pointing upwards. Okay? They are pointing upwards, not down. Huh? They are pointing upwards. So you do that. You relax, okay? Now after that, when you relax, you slowly <coughs> relax your muscles, right? Not all of a sudden, okay? I uh, want to go, I told you, this is the way, right? You do that. When you push up, you can do like that. You can do five times. Okay? You, once you relax, you slowly relax your muscles, okay? 
Take a deep breath. One. Two. Three. You see me after taking deep breath, your muscles in the back, and these muscles and your thigh muscles will all relax. You do it the second time. Finish. Take three breaths and do it the third time. How many times? Three times. Three times. I don't ask you to do more because this is just to stretch only I. Mm. So this stretching is very important. Now, before you sleep, you can actually do this. And then all your bones here at the back here, all your bones here will relax. And then as I said, you will have a better quality of sleep. 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 So Lord, now. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Now, how to strengthen this muscle now? Abdominis muscle. One of the easiest for you to strengthen this muscle is you carry your two legs up. Bamba. Then you do upside down cycling. Mm. Upside down cycling. Huh? You have to hold this muscle. If you don't use this muscle, you cannot carry your two legs up. Okay? So you do like that. You can do 10 times and then rest. Okay? Until you are relaxed, give yourself 5 seconds or 10 seconds, then up again. You do another set, like maybe 20 times like that. You know? So your abdominal muscles become stronger and stronger. Alright? The other one, while you are doing this, you can kick down the bed horizontal to your bed like that like that kick huh kick you look at these muscles it will become very tight like that okay you kick like that all right you can kick five times or ten times uh or six times really, and then you rest and then you do three rounds like that okay you just do three rounds Okay, so these muscles will become stronger and stronger. So, when they become strong and stronger, it's actually very good uh, that you can, in the end, kick and get up from your bed. Okay, like that, huh? you see. I, I said I can kick like that, right? Now, when I want to get up, I can kick and get up like that. Okay, you can start to Lie right down, you kick, and you can get up. That is, if your abdominal muscles are already strong enough, you can do that. Okay? Now, what else did I want to illustrate to you? Um, yeah, how to loosen your knee before you start standing on your feet uh, to carry your body weight. One thing when you can do when you're lying down is like that. Okay? You drop your leg, right? you carry it up, you drop it. You just drop. Just drop, right? So you drop. So you stretch this muscles. You stretch your kneecap before all the tendons and ligaments before you use them. Right? So you can do like that. So you just loosen all of this before you use your leg side. Okay? You get it? Any yes. question? Drop, okay? You just drop all two two together, you drop. Okay? Stretch this muscle, stretch your kneecap, the tendons and ligaments before you stand on your feet. Right? Now, how about your ankle? The ankles you can do, right? Dorsi flexion, like that. Plantar flexion. Dorsi, Quanta. Dorsi, Quanta. So you do three, rest for one, and repeat. Right? Dorsi, Quanta. Dorsi, Quanta. Dorsi, Quanta. You do three rounds, okay? All three, 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 right? So it's easy to remember. Now, after doing that, you rotate your, rotate your ankles, okay? So you can push down, and then medially up open down medially up open down so you do, that, you do three rounds after doing three rounds you rest for a while then you do the opposite 
Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Outside, inside. Three rounds, three rounds, three rounds. So now you exercise. You ready to get up? You are ready to use your ankle, your, your knees, your back. You prepare yourself to do that. So while you are sitting down, if you want to do more shaking, you can. You do like that, no? Okay? This is stretching your your tricep, uh, your quadriceps. Okay? You do like that. The other one that you can do is to loosen your ankles. You can do like that. See? You can do like that, right? Okay? You can see that, right? You just very bamba, very loose. You just loosen it. Okay, it's, I don't know, it's shaking it actually, to loosen, loosen the joint. That is why this is so important when you, especially when you walk on surfaces that are uneven, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes like that, like that, you you can twist your ankle, and that's why a lot of people have twisted ankle, even broken bones, because I see some of these people even in our center, they have not been exercising well, and when they come to learn to, to walk on our uneven, these bones can break, you know, I cannot understand why those bones, to me, they are not very um, foot, I mean, not very, not very uh, weight-bearing bones. Yes. But they can crack, just like that. You know, Singaporeans, especially because they good food, no okay. exercise. Mm. <laughs> you know, the kind of problem. Huh? So you shake up, you, you warm up all of this before you stand on your feet and walk. So, in the morning, you prepare yourself now before you start washing, cooking, whatever things that you need to do. So, prepare your body in the morning. Okay, as I said, that stretching huh, that I show you, Kanina, you do that before you fall asleep. Because when your bones are relaxed, your muscles are relaxed, the quality of your sleep will be better. Now, how about the the muscles of the back, right? The muscles of the back are quite hard to strengthen. It's because the support of the muscles are not mm, there. Okay, okay. That's why the bones begin to, what do you call that? They go out of alignment. So they can still undergo the same? Yeah, if, if, yeah they can. But one of the things afterwards I will say, I just said once you stretch your, you know this stretching, Kanina, I show you, yeah. when you are lying down, mm. is to create space, allow fluid and allow the blood to flow, mm. to go back to those areas where it was uh, what we call um, ischemia, ischemia, to those bones and to the, the blood supply. You can remove that, you can uh, improve yourself with that. Doc, normally when we are uh, getting old, you know, the patella, it has something like uh, liquid. Yes, yeah, swelling sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Inflammation so, inside. When you are older, then this one will dry up. What happened? Why it is dry up? Because no exercise? Uh, lack of, exer of uh, active yeah, exercise? Yeah, if that has to do with what you call drying up. The drying up is, mm -hmm. if you're talking about the uh, synovial fluid. Synovial fluid, yeah. yes. Are, can the synovial fluid dry up? Right. Most of the time, it is because you have a problem earlier, which okay. perhaps you did not take care of it. Mm. And then later on, because of poor circulation, poor because circulation. the synovial fluid will dry up. Okay. And not only that, sometimes nutrients. Um, the injury then, when you move your, your kneecap, you hear that sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of thing like that. The tightening of the ligaments, ligaments will cause that yeah. and also if there have been blood clots inside there they will calcify they will form stones mm -hmm. that's why you find that when you move your kneecap Just you can hear crack. the sound inside the uh -oh. cracking sound inside that we call crepitations yeah. mm -hmm. and you put the stethoscope there you will hear the sound like a plastic like uh, <laughs> like you are sliding on the on, on the sandbar. You, know, you hear that? <laughs> you feel it. So that is why it is so good when you exercise that uh, to keep them moving. moving. You improve the circulation. Then uh, atrophy and changes, you will hold them back. 
I'm not saying that they will not come. Okay, mm -hmm. but they shouldn't come so early. Uh. Do you think it will restore the synovial flow? Well, if you improve the circulation, that's oh, what we say okay. we, at the beginning yeah. of our lecture. Mm. You improve the circulation to enhance healing. Even you're older? Yeah, that's why as old as I am, you see, I'm still trying <laughs> okay. to keep myself active. Because I heard from the that. doctor that if you are old, then you cannot. Yeah, they give yeah. up when on it you. is dried up, yeah. then uh, you take okay. the synovial fluid. They give up on you. <laughs> because you are old. Not, uh, you know, you belong to the other side of the world. <laughs> they, they, will give us, they will give you the medication. Yeah. Yeah. They give you the medication. So it will help you go oh, down, down, down. Yeah. And you cannot prevent yourself from going down because you are not exercising, you are not stretching, you are not improving your circulation. Yes. So that's the so in the end, it will be painful again. You go back, see him, and bring him more money. <laughs> yeah, that's... Yes, exactly. <laughs> so the secret is stretching. Yeah. Stretching. The secret is stretching and using it. As I said, the active part you and I have to do. I said, I can give you the massage. I can give you the treatment. But if you don't have exercise. Temporarily, you improve. Huh. Yeah. If, you, if you do not use it or stretch it or strengthen it, you go back to square one. Okay, now I... Actually, I want to show you the best, you know, like quite a bit I want to show you. So before you touch somebody, it's important for you to know some of the anatomy yeah. and some of the physiology, yeah. how those parts of the body work. Yeah. So we'll come to this side. Now I want to do this one before I go to the rest side. Huh? There's how many more minutes? Okay, we have yeah, nine minutes. more. Hours. Yes, the, uh, okay, about 29, 30, or 29 minutes. Okay. This mouth exercises also no money in it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not teasing you, eh? because exactly, you don't find people true. talking about this. But they don't talk about the importance of this. Because, as I said, most likely because there is no money in it. Okay. I came across one patient that really uh, emphasized to me how important it is. The exercises of the jaw, the lips, the tongue, and, 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 and uh, the lips, your jaw, and your tongue. Right? Yesterday, we talked about eating. I just said, you have teeth that are designed to help you chew your food properly. That's why I just said, eating is a, an art. You need to be intelligent when you chew and eat your food. Okay? I just said, you cannot be distracted so much by what you are thinking or what you are talking about during eating. Because we can be easily distracted. Uh, the story is so exciting. Uh. So you chew your food less, you chew it as fast as you can and swallow as much as you can so that your mouth is free to talk. But that may not be a good practice, okay? So, no matter how excited your your story is getting, but whatever it is, when you are eating, remember, chew your food. Chew your food. No, Buddha. As I said, said <coughs> if you think that you are ready to swallow, don't no, no. swallow yet. What did I say? Push, push, push your foot push. to the front and review. Review. Review whether there are big pieces or not. If there are still big pieces, send them to your big teeth and chew them until they are small. They are liquefied already. Then you swallow. Okay. Now, as I said, your mouth. That you call it the buccal cavity is a very important structure. You know, as I said, God has created it so that we can eat well. So, in the morning, when you wake up while you are sitting on your bed, remember I said before you get out of your bed, you exercise your mouth, your jaw. So, the important thing one little time is that you can exercise your tongue. What are the ways to exercise to stretch your tongue? Okay? One, you can stick out your tongue ten times. Like that. Really stretch, okay? 
Doman og ten times. Ibo outside watching you. 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 Inside. Oh, oh. Don't stretch like that. Don't, not only here. Okay. <laughs> you really stretch out. How long you will hold it? You can feel the strain mm. under your tongue and to, at the back of your, your uh, where your tongue is attached. After that, you push ten times to your right. Like that. <laughs> ten times, okay? And then the ten times to the opposite side. <laughs> ten times, okay? So, ten, ten, ten. Now, you use your tongue to push upwards on your heart palate. Like that. Mm. Okay. Mm. Push ten times. Okay? It up the water. So, when, when you actually do that, by that time, your tongue is getting hot already. Okay. okay, you're ready to eat. Right? <laughs> <laughs> the next one is you roll your tongue. If you can roll your tongue, like that. Okay, you roll, you hold Paano? it. Mm -hmm. Paano? Okay. <laughs> Hindi ko yakin. Hindi, huwag mo butsa. This part is hot. Hindi ko balik. So, you put circulation, everything. In practice. Okay? Your salivary glands, all of this, they were warming you up for your breakfast. I see. Yeah. So, as far as the lip is concerned, what you can do is like that. You hold the lips in. Blow air. You can push it up. Mm. You see like that? Hold the lips in. <laughs> and you can push it down. In and out. Then you can push it to the side. How many times do you want to do it? Ten times you cannot. Mm. 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 Okay. Is this for anti so said, when you do all of that ten times, ten times, right? Your whole head, uh, your circulation up here. Mm -hmm. wow. Wow. Okay. Because you are using those muscles, right? Now the last one is your jaw. Okay. What can you do with your jaw? <coughs> this is the complaint I said, said this lady uh, from, from Penang. She's a very educated lady, but she went to see so many specialists regarding her joint pains here on the jaw. Mm. But that's good. Taking only pain reliever, anti-inflammatory, that's all. And the jaw is still painful. That's why she said, I cannot eat, I cannot eat hard things. Huh? I can only eat soft food. So I said, are you sure you went to see the specialist? She said, yes, I've spent so much money, this specialist, this specialist. We said, the problem is the same. Mm -hmm. So I said, this is no money, you just do this exercise. So, what exercise can you do? You see, your jaw, <coughs> of course, besides opening, you see, you open your jaw wide, like exercise, you know. As wide as you can. You stress it. You see, you stress it, huh? You stress the jaw. Okay? So, what is the opposite? And now you open, now you bite. <laughs> You always do the opposite. Okay? You open, now you bite. When you bite, you are changing this, this uh, your muscle muscle side. Now, the other one, that one is not so easy. Yet. You know, you can rock your jaw to the left and to the right. For example, I rock it to my right first. I rock it five times like that. Uh. Oh, 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 o
times, three times, I mean five times, five times. You can rock all the way. Right? Yeah. <laughs> you really do it, okay? Not not just for show. Sure. You really do it for yourself because you need it. And then after, <laughs> Okay, how do you feel now? You see your muscles getting hot. Getting hot. Boy, boy, can't see. Sorry, sorry. 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 Sorry, you can push your jaw forward like that. <laughs> push it forward. You can do it five times and now you push it backwards like that. Okay? Now, when she did these exercises, huh, she called me later on. She said, no more! I don't have any more pain. My jaw is working well. No money involved, man. No money. That's why I told you, sir. This is no money. But she gave a lot of money to the doctors already, and the doctors did not solve the problem. That's why when we fail to do those necessary exercises, we are inviting trouble. I can almost guarantee. That works for the luck, Joe. Doc, luck, Joe, Casey. Luck, Joe. Luck, Joe. Luck, Joe is different. Okay. Now let's talk about luck. How can you help somebody with love? Because you make it tano. You need to ask to unlock. You hit up. Yeah, sometimes when people just open the mouth to yawn, it already is located. Here, the TMJ joint. TMJ. Yeah, TMJ. Temporal. Temporal. Right behind your ear. Mandibular. So how? So now let me teach you, okay? Whether you will be successful or not, I cannot guarantee this one. Okay? How to replace a locked jaw? How to replace? Now you have to. You need to be quite help, quite like a brother uh, Noel. Yeah, I think he's strong enough. <laughs> if the person has a locked jaw, immediately you help him. That's easier. But one hour later or two hours later, uh, when he arrives in the hospital and things like that, and people and people try to help, sometimes listen guy, very hard. Why? Because the tendons begin to shorten already. Yeah, and there is inflammation and there is pain. That three things together make it very difficult to return the the jaw that is dislocated. Actually, locked jaw is dislocation of the jaw. Now you have two big thumbs, okay? And then you have four fingers behind. So what you do is, you ask the person to sit down. Okay? Maybe as low as possible. Sitting down. Then you can use, you put your two thumbs to the inside. You know where your big teeth are called the mouth? And the uh, wisdom tooth is that area as deep as possible. You can reach with your thumb. Okay? You reach with your thumb. You use your thumb to push downwards. You have somebody to hold the head up. Okay? To steady the head. Okay? Steady the head. You put your two thumbs into his mouth or her mouth. Inside. Deep inside where the big teeth are. Okay? Then, when you do that, you push down with your fingers. You lift up the jaw, okay. the anterior part of the jaw. The posterior part of the jaw, you push down. Your anterior part of the jaw, you use your fingers to lift it up. So when you lift this up, you can push better. You get what I mean? You can have more strength to push downwards. When you push downwards, you, you, you can feel that the bone goes down. When it goes down, you go in. You push to his back. Mm. Can you hear? See what I do? This person sitting in front of me. I, I do like that. I lift up the jaw and I push the back of the jaw in, down. Downward, down. Okay, once you feel that it has cleared that joint, you push it in. So the joint will 
will come out. Mm-hmm. It will be restored to its uh, position. That is as far as Lord Joy is concerned. Inside the mouth, I said that. No. Dari lama ada kan tahu nak lepas ni. Yes, my experience in Bangkulu. Ah, the one I don't know how many hours. Oh, we get injection to reduce the pain and everything. And I tell you, it took us something like half an hour of trying. Finally, we got it back. So the longer, what did I say, Ganena? The longer you wait, ah, the harder it is because of inflammation, because of pain. <coughs> and the tightness begins to form. <coughs> okay? Now, how much are you ready? Are there I still have a few more minutes to relax. Causes of lock jaw. <coughs> Sorry? Causes of lock jaw. The, the, the lock jaw, if it is due to uh, tetanus, that's a different thing. Uh-huh. Over your own. Yeah, over your name. Uh, that is because uh, you dislocate your jaw. One of my one of my clients, he got this uh, long or a chronic disease of kidneys, and then when before he passed away, actually one month before he passed away, every day he got the luck jaw, and so the luck jaw, yeah. And then so the the mother always put the. When the luck just started, then he puts the, oh, the stone. That, that was because of seizure. Man. Yeah, seizure, including the seizure. Yeah, that is not but the last time, yeah. they, can, they cannot open anymore. They cannot put the spoon, so he died seizure. after that. They cannot breathe. Uh, cannot breathe, yeah. Okay, you rest for a while. There's a question here. And then the carrot will take over. You all can ask a question here. There's a question here first. Doc, may I ask the doc? Doc, there is a question. Is there an exercise for vertigo? Yeah. Ah. Vertigo. The vertigo. The vertigo. Yeah. So, I exercise. you go to the circus today. I'm going to talk to you. Yeah, maybe I'll talk to you later. Yeah. Okay. I exercise. Yeah. Show it out. One of those that you can do is, this bed is a little bit lower, so I have to lower myself a bit like Okay, I put it in my pubic area, the level of the bed to my pubic area. You know, all you know your pubic area, right? Yes. Okay, if you don't know, it's where the hair grows, okay? <coughs> That's the area. So, I put it down to that level, and I hold the bed. If you have a table or anything, you can do like this kind of table bar. You hold it, you put your two legs, you stretch the two legs to the back at, at the tip of your toes. See, the toes touching the floor. What you can do is to hold it up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, rest for a while. Rest, huh? Then you ready, do another five. One, two, three. Four, five. What you are doing? You strengthen these muscles right, at the back. Do a third round. Do a third round. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So you strengthen the muscles at the back now. Because it's only these two sets of muscles, abdominis and the muscles of the back. Only when they are strong enough, to support each other in action. Can you prevent back pain? Mm-hmm. Other than that, you overuse the muscles at the back. Nah, you cannot punish. You get punished, right? So the other one to make your back strong is like what the cat and the dogs do. Mm. Have you seen the cats and the dogs? You know when they wake up? Mm. Ah, she go out door like that. See ya? Like that. Okay. See this that? You bend your legs, go down, like that. Go up. Okay. You do that. So how do you go back? You bend your legs, you go down. And then you push your way up again. So when you push your way up, you stretch these muscles at the back. Stretch them. Okay? So you can at least do three times. (laughs) <laughs> At least three times, huh? Like that. Bend your legs down. Go down. On the surface. Okay, come up like that. 
Mm, okay. Okay, go back. Bend down your legs, go down. And push all the way back. Second time, like that. I just said, you, you see the cats and do, the dogs do that. Every time they wake up, they will stretch the neck. You see the cats and the dogs do that, right? Yeah. So, you learn quite a bit already as so far as the stretching exercises is concerned. Huh? As I said, you want to prevent back pain and things like that. Remember, you strengthen your muscles. Okay, without your, the strength of your muscles, your bones are weak. That's why when the bones are the bone, when the muscles are weak, what happens to your bones? They begin to move. Uh, what do you call that? Misalign. 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 Okay. Now what you do is to realign. Okay. So this is part of that that I want to, to teach you. Maybe I'll demonstrate the rest of you. There are quite a few of this. So any questions so far up to here? So if you don't have a bed like this, as I say, you can get a table, this table. If it's too heavy, you ask somebody to hold it one end and you do that. It's just like this, you can do it. For example, like, Doc, uh, he has a question. Yeah, what's the key? That exercise is daily? Yes. Seven times. When you get up. Seven days a week. Except Saturday. At least. Except Saturday. Even, even three times a day. Uh, three times a week. I think that's okay. Rather than nothing. Okay. 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 If you already have back pain, the problems are that I. You do it until your muscles well strong. Yeah, it's strong enough to carry you. And as I said, you know, all myself, uh, you know, I live quite an active life. Uh, I still play tennis, you know, mm. and I work in the farm in Anan. Okay. I still carry the what do you call that? Hole. What do you call that in the Philippines? Ah. Oh, you, you. Ah. No, yeah, it's OE. And I cut grass, and I cut grass, I don't use the bush cutter. I use that, the, what do you call it, like sickle. Like this? The, the, it's a curved kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Sickle. Oh, no, 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 it's with a handle, huh? mouth. It's, it's, ah, okay, like this. No, 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 with a handle, that oh, may be about that long. Like and padding. I use that, I cut the grass. Is padding. padding. Is padding. It's padding. Like that. 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 Like yeah, so I do that and uh, I join the health guest walking. So we walk uh, uh, four kilometers, we walk uh, eight kilometers up and down the hill like that. So that helps me to keep fit. That helps me to keep fit. Otherwise, if I one week, I don't do any of these things. I don't play tennis, I don't, because of rain and things like that. Then it's hard for me to sleep. I cannot relax, but my body is like too tense because uh, I have not exercised enough. Mm. So that is why I do those exercises not for other people <laughs> but for myself. <laughs> doc, doc, how about those um, <laughs> supper with the lumbar pro problem? Same. Same exercise. Yeah, you strengthen the, you and strengthen uh, the Those of you who have also sciatic pain, sciatic it's nerve very pain. fun. Sciatic pain is actually quite fun, you know. Mm. I'll show you, okay. Sciatic. Uh, yeah, 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 sciatic. Yeah. problem yeah. again. <laughs> so, all the things that you can do is this. Okay, you lie down, okay, you totally relax. Huh? You put one leg up, like that. Then you cross the other leg. When you do that, if your foot is facing that side, then do not let your shoulders come up. Relax your shoulders, you let it go down. Now, just slowly let it go down. Now, if you have sciatic pain, uh, you'll feel the terrible pulling here. The pulling is very, what? Very uh, un 
unpleasant. So you let it go down as low as you can go. Relax this leg. Relax this leg. Let it go. When you're totally relaxed now, you count 10. You count 10, huh? 10 seconds in other words. After counting 10, you come up. Do not, do not disengage. You count 5. After counting 5, now you change. Change position. Yeah. Change position. Now, you go down this side. Relax. Relax. Just let it go. So the lowest that you can go, don't let your shoulders come up, okay? Just let it go. When you are totally relaxed, this leg relax, this leg is relaxed. You count 10. After counting 10, you come up. You count 5. five. Then you change. Then you go okay. down. Three How times. many times? Three times. Three times. Now, when you can do that, there is still tightness or no tightness anymore, you proceed to do the next one. The next one is this. You put one leg up, you hold it. You hold it, you pull. Pull up, huh? you see me do that? I pull up toward my chest. My knee, my thigh, toward my chest. Pull up. You don't have to pull. Like some people, they pull until, you know, uh, uh, they are quite tense. Huh? But you don't need to. What you are doing is to stretch your sciatic nerve and the tendons and ligaments around your, and the back of your leg, like this one. Okay, you pull up. You count 10, you let go. Then the other leg up like that. You, you pull it up, you count 10, you let go. You do three, three rounds right, for each time. Now if you are strong enough later on, you are relaxed, you can do that, then your two legs together. You hold it like that. This is the time when you can pull a bit more. You can lift up your head, you pull a bit more. Like that. You count 10 and you let go. When your back is totally relaxed, repeat another 10 seconds. You do three rounds. Huh? That will help you to relieve quite a bit of your sciatic stretching and discomfort. Huh? Okay? Any question? How about the sculosis? Is that uh, also. Um Scoliosis. Yeah. Yeah. I said some of these are all like you, you do that to allow your bone to realign. Ah, okay. So, so that is it's this one that, that. that you can do too, right? <clears throat> you can do too to stretch your back here. Those of you, uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, low back pain? You can do like that. Until your yeah, your thigh is one straight line. This position is right. Right now. You hold it for 10 seconds, then you let go. Okay? After counting five, you are relaxed, then do it again. Ten seconds, hold it. Okay? Then you let go. You do it again. Do a minimum of three times for yourself. Okay? Do like that. Straight. Straight. Right. If you can straighten it. Before you go down. So you straighten uh you strengthen the muscles of your back. Strengthen your abdominal muscles. So, so, I don't want to indicate that you have uh specific disease. No, no. What's the story? Hypertension. Yeah, hypertension and diabetes. So far, this this stretching, mom, there is no. This is not exercise. This is slow motion. If you cannot do all in one go or three rounds because you are so tired, never mind. You do it stage by stage, day by day. You build it up. Okay, do not be discouraged and say, ah, today I cannot do it, tomorrow I don't want to do it anymore. You cannot talk to yourself like that, don't know. Frozen shoulders. Okay, we will come to that. Frozen shoulders. We still have enough time. No, we have half an hour more, right? Uh, where is Karen? She's preparing. She's preparing for her activity. It's the time, 11 o'clock. You look at the schedule. No, not yet. Oh. What is the schedule? It's 10, 21. Up to? 9 to 11. Okay. okay. Yeah. Show it out. One of those that you can do is, this bed is a little bit lower, so I have to lower myself a bit like. Okay. I put it in my pubic area, the level of the bed, 
to my pubic area. You know all you know your pubic area, right? Yes. Okay? If you don't know, it's where the hair grows. Okay? <coughs> That's the area. So I put it down to that, to that level and I hold the bed. If you have a table or anything, you can do like this kind of table bar. You hold it. You put your two legs, you stretch the two legs to the back at, at the tip of your toes. See, the toes touching the floor. What you can do is to hold it up. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, rest for a while. Rest, huh? Then you ready to do another five. One, two, three, four. Five. What you are doing? You strengthen this muscle side at the back. Do a third round. Do a third round. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. So you strengthen the muscles at the back now. Because it's only these two sets of muscles, abdominis and the muscles of the back, only when they are strong enough to support each other in action. Can you prevent back pain? Mm -hmm. Other than that, you overuse the muscles at the back. Nah, you cannot punish. You get punished, right? So the other one to make your back strong is like what the cat and the dogs do. Mm. Have you seen the cats and the dogs? You know when they wake up? Mm. Ah, she go out door like that. See ya? Like that. Okay. See this that? You bend your legs, go down, like that. Go up. Okay. You do that. So how do you go back? You bend your legs, you go down. And then you push your way up again. So when you push your way up, you stretch these muscles at the back. Stretch them. Okay? So you can at least do three times. <laughs> At least three times, huh? Like that. Bend your legs down. Go down. On the surface. Okay, come up. Like that. Mm, like that. Okay, go back. Bend down your legs. Go down. And push all the way back. Second time. Like that. As I said, you, you see the cats and do, the dogs do that. Every time they wake up. They will stretch the neck. Yeah. You see the cats and the dogs do that, right? Um, yeah. So, you learn quite a bit already as far as the stretching exercises is concerned. Huh? As I said, you want to prevent back pain and things like that. Remember, you strengthen your muscles. Okay, without your, the strength of your muscles, your bones are weak. That's why when the bones are, the bone, when the muscles are weak, what happens to your bones? They begin to move. Uh, what do you call that? Misalign. Misalign. Okay. Now what you do is to realign. Okay. So this is part of that that I want to, to teach you. Maybe I'll demonstrate the rest of you. There are quite a few of this. So, any questions so far up to here? So, if you don't have a bed like this, as I say, you can get a table, this table. If it is too heavy, you ask somebody to hold it one end and you do that. It's just like this, you can do it. For example, like, he has a question. Yeah, what's okay? That exercise is uh, daily? Yes. Daily. Seven when times. Up, when you get up. Seven no? days a week. <laughs> Except Saturday. At least. Except Saturday. Even, even three times a day. Uh, three times a week. I think that's okay. <laughs> Rather than nothing. Okay. If you already have back pain. The problems like that, right? You do it until your muscles. Well, strong. Yeah. It's strong enough to carry you. And as I said, you know, all myself, uh, you know, I live quite an active life. Uh, I still play tennis, you know, mm. and I work in the farm in Anan. Okay. I still carry the, what do you call that, hoe 
What do you call that in the Philippines? Yeah, it's OE. And I cut grass. And I cut grass, I don't use the bush cutter. <laughs> I use that, the, what do you call that? Like sickle. Like this. The, the, it's a curved kind of yeah. thing. Yeah. Sickle. Oh, no, 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 it's with a handle huh? mask. It's, it's, ah, okay, like this. No, 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 with a handle that oh, may be about that long. Yeah. And I use that, I cut the grass. It's padding. 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 It's at I the end, you can swing. If you are used to it, you can swing around your head and you can cut grass as you walk along. And <laughs> yeah, so I do that and uh, I join the health guest walking. So we walk uh, uh, four kilometers, we walk uh, eight kilometers up and down the hill like that. So that helps me to keep fit. That helps me to keep fit. Mm. Otherwise, after, if I one week I don't do any of these things, I don't play tennis, I don't because of rain and things like that. Then it's hard for me to sleep. Really, I cannot relax. But my body is like too tense because uh, I have not exercised enough. Mm. So that is why I do those exercises, not for other people, <laughs> but for myself. <laughs> Doc, doc, how about those um, <laughs> supper with the lumbar pro problem? Same. Same exercise. Yeah, you strengthen the, you and strengthen uh, the Those of you who have also sciatic pain, sciatic nerve very pain. Fun. Sciatic pain is actually quite fun, you know. Mm. I'll show you, okay? Sciatic. Ah, yeah. yeah, yeah, sciatic. Yeah. <laughs> so, all the things that you can do is this. Okay, you lie down, okay, you totally relax, huh? You put one leg up, like that. Sciatic pain. Then you cross the other leg. Wow. When you do that, your foot is facing that side. Then do not let your shoulders come up. Relax your shoulders. You let it go down. Down. Just slowly let it go down. Now, if you have sighting pain, uh, you'll feel the terrible pulling. Uh. The pulling is very what? Very uh, un unpleasant. So you let it go down as low as you can go. Relax this leg, relax this leg. Let it go. When you're totally relaxed now, you count 10. You count 10, huh? 10 seconds in other words. After counting 10, you come up. Do not, do not disengage. You count 5. After counting 5, now you change. Change position. Yeah, change position. Now, you go down this side. Relax. Relax. Just let it go. So the lowest that you can go, don't let your shoulders come up, okay? Just let it go. When you are totally relaxed, this leg relax, this leg is relaxed, you count 10. After counting 10, you come up, you count 5. Five. Then you change, then you go okay. down. Three How times? many times? Three times. Three times. Now, when you can do that, there is still tightness or no tightness anymore, you proceed to do the next one. The next one is this. You put one leg up, you hold it. You hold it, you pull. Pull up, huh? you see me do that? I pull up toward my chest. My knee, my thigh, toward my chest. Pull up. You don't have to pull. Like some people, they pull until, you know, uh, uh, they are quite tense. Huh? But you don't need to. What you are doing is to stretch your sciatic nerve and the tendons and ligaments around your, the back of your leg, like this one. Okay, you pull up, you count 10, you let go. Then the other leg, up like that. You, you pull it up, you count 10, you let go. You do three, three rounds right, for each time. Now if you are strong enough later on, you are relaxed, you can do that, then your two legs together. You hold it like that. This is the time when you can pull a bit more. You can lift up your head. Okay. You pull a bit more. Like that. You count 10 and you let go. When your back is totally relaxed, repeat another 10 seconds. You do three rounds. Huh? That will help you to relieve quite a bit of your sciatic stretching and discomfort. Huh? Okay. Any question? How about the sculosis? Is that uh, also 
Scoliosis. Yeah. Yeah. I said some of these are all like you you do that to allow your bone to realign. Ah, okay. So, so that is this one that, that. that you can do too, right? <clears throat> you can do too to stretch your back here. Those of you, uh, what do you call that? Uh, uh, low back pain? You can do like that. Until your low butt, back pain. Yeah, your thigh is one straight line. This position right? is very right nice. You hold it for 10 seconds, then you let go. Okay, after counting five, you are relaxed. Then do it again. Ten seconds, hold it. Okay, then you let go. You do it again. Do a minimum of three times for yourself. Okay, you do it like that. Straight, straight. If you can straighten it. Before you go so you strengthen, uh, you strengthen the muscles of your back. Strengthen your abdominal muscles. So, so you have uh, specific disease. Doc, no. What's the story? Hypertension. Yeah, hypertension and diabetes. So far, this this stretching, mom, there is no. This is not exercise. Just stretching. Slow motion. You cannot do. All in one go or three rounds because you are so tired. Never mind. You do it stage Start by stage, step by step day step by day. Yes. You build it up. Huh? Okay, do not be discouraged. And say, ah, today I cannot do it. Tomorrow I don't want to do it anymore. You cannot talk to yourself like that. Don't know. Frozen shoulders. Okay, we will come to that. We still have enough time. No, we have half an hour more, right? Uh, where is Karen? She is preparing. She is preparing for her activity. Is the time eleven o'clock? You look at the schedule. No, not yet. Eleven. Oh. What is the schedule? Ten twenty-one. Up to nine to eleven. Okay.